Let me ask you this question. What is that one of the great aspects of Jesus that draws a lot of people to come closer to Him? Why that we would even wonder is it a lot of a billion of people wanted to follow Him and a lot of people would even wanted to die for Him? Why do we think so? It is simply because He really cares. Good morning, friends. I am Richard, and welcome to this Daily Brief Gospel Reflection. And today's reading is taken from Matthew. We're in talking about Jesus healing a lot of people and about the very well-known feeding of a thousand of people. And a very familiar story of Jesus. But why is it that I ask the question, what is that great, what, uh, why is it that God caring for the humanity is one of the great aspects of Jesus that allows people to draw closer and closer and closer to Him and even to that point wanting to die for Him. It is because He really cares not just our spiritual body, our spiritual being, but it is also about our physical being. In the first few uh, pa- uh, verses of, this, of today's reading is that we're in a lot of people who are lame, blind, um, those who are dumb, those who are sick, gro- drawing closer and closer to Jesus, wanted to be at the, at the feet of Jesus for them to be healed. And, and in the second part is that Jesus really cares for what do the people will eat after following him for several days, for three days following him that there is nothing for them to eat. If they're going to live, they might even die. Don't you find it that really God cares for each of us? It's not just so much about our spiritual being really, but even to, our, to the physical being of ours. We know that we have a lot of sickness. We may be lame, we may be blinded, we may be sick in one form or another. But we know that it is only in Jesus that we find that hope, we find that at that entirety in terms of our healing. And so with that, friends, if we would wonder why a lot of people wanted to be with Him, why is it that people draws to Him? Because He really cares. If there is someone you think that who can care of you more than you care yourselves, more than other people would care for us, but it is really just only in Him. And so, dear friends, let us be reminded that when we think about that there's no one caring for us, be minded. Lift up your, ha- your heads up high into the heaven. That there's someone looking at you from the time that you were born here on earth and even up to the time that you will be in his kingdom. And so in this season of Advent, let us also be hopeful that as we seek the Lord, as we wait for upon the Lord, let us also wait for the total healing that Jesus will be vested upon when each one of us and always remember that he cares for you he loves you he's so faithful that in the psalms today said that all only only kindness and good goodness shall be set upon me as i draw myself and as i put my trust in the lord and so dear friends always remember that you are blessed and such blessings are not meant for you to be kept and for you to share to others may have a great day adios Wait, you might have some questions you'd like to ask. Why not put it on the comment box, whether in here in the Facebook uh, Facebook account or YouTube channel or in my Instagram account. And we might be helping one another so that we'll be able to continue to grow and be able to know more about this faith that Jesus has granted unto us. And you might not be able, uh, others might even be blessed by the discussion. Thank you and God bless you.